On today's episode of Fatty's Feast, we're cooking up some pork chops and sweet carrots on the Blackstone griddle. Let's get started. So as you know, or maybe you don't know if you're a new viewer, I'm a huge fan of pork. I like smoking pork all the time. I do pork butts, I do pork ribs, but I'm not a huge pork chop fan. And that's because I've had a lot of bad pork chops in my day. And I'm sure some of you watching have too, but we're not gonna have that today. We're gonna actually make some delicious pork chops with great seasonings, and we're gonna throw in a nice sweet texture with some sweet carrots. You can't go wrong. Before we start, welcome in if you're a subscriber. Pleased to have you here and thank you for your support. If you're a new viewer, please like the video if you find any kind of value in it today. I'm here to entertain, I'm here to cook for you. So, without further ado, let's start. First off, we have some carrots. Now these carrots are normal carrots you buy at the grocery store, obviously, nothing special. Uh, I think I cut up about four and a half of them. They were just in my fridge. Like I said, we're not doing anything right now. We're gonna throw them on the Blackstone griddle. We're gonna make them great. These here are two six ounce pork chops that came in our tender filet box. Now, if you don't know what I mean when I say our tender filet box, it's one of those meat boxes you get delivered to your door, sort of like Omaha steaks, very similar. I actually did a video about this a few months back where we cooked up some of the frozen burger patties that came in this box. And I also went into detail about what you get with the box and what it includes and the price and all that stuff. So if you're interested in that, check out this link I put here, here, right here. So I'm gonna keep one hand clean, one hand dirty. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of oil down on these, coat that in. I did thaw these beforehand. They do come frozen, as you can imagine. I'm gonna throw down some sea salt. Make sure you get both sides and the edges, which I'll mop up. And then I'm throwing down some coarse ground black pepper. No, I'm just kidding. This is actually Meathead's Memphis Rub. You've seen me use this on pork ribs before. It's a great rub. The main base is brown sugar and paprika. And this is a rub you can just make at home. As you can see, I'm being pretty liberal with it. If you're interested in the recipe for this rub, I will put a link to the website. I'll just mop up all this extra so I make sure I get enough on each side. This rub is great for uh, you know anything pork you're doing. It doesn't have to be barbecue or smoked. It's, it's a really delicious rub and it smells amazing. Now, as you saw, before I put this rub down, I did add salt because this rub does not have any salt. Therefore, you can control the amount of salt you want on it. A lot of rubs have salt and you just don't want too much salt because you can't take salt away. So let's let these seasonings sort of mend in a little bit. We'll get our Blackstone up to temp and we'll be back shortly. All right, so we're over at the griddle. Let's throw our carrots down. I have this zone on low. I'm just gonna try to evenly space them out as much as I can. I'm gonna throw down two good knobs of butter. When I say knobs, I mean like a half stick. I'll just get this butter incorporated. Oh God. I was saying I'll try to get this butter incorporated if I can. Just let it melt down a little bit. While we're waiting for that, I'll add some salt, some pepper, and then I'll mix it around just a tad. I'm just trying to keep all this butter in with these carrots here. And as I'm trying to keep this butter with these carrots, what I'm gonna do is add some brown sugar. It's a lot of brown sugar. It's what I call a healthy pinch. And the reason I have this area on low is I don't want the sugar to burn. So as this thickens up with the butter, it should stick better. And then to assist even more, I'm gonna get it in a nice little area if I can. I'll throw my basting cover on. That should help keep some of that butter in. Now over here, I'll throw my oil down. This area is on a uh, medium heat. I'm gonna throw my pork chops down here. The smells out here are amazing. And if I remove this basting cover, you can see that sugar's really thickened up. But some of this butter's running down, but it's becoming a nice little glaze for these carrots. We'll throw that cover right back on. I'll turn the heat up a little bit. Now, before we continue, I just want to say thank you to all of you that have subscribed over the past few months where we haven't been as active as a channel. I hope you're enjoying the new channel. If you haven't subscribed, like I said, please subscribe, like, comment. We'd love to hear from you. Let's continue cooking. So these should be ready for a flip. Very nice. Check on our carrots again. 
Once again, these also smell amazing. What do we cook that doesn't smell amazing? Let me ask you that. The difference between me and other cooking channels is I would tell you if it didn't smell amazing. Just want to stick my spatula in there. Eh, they're coming along. Definitely not as done as I want them to be. I do really like the sugary crust that's on there. And that's the reason we keep the heat down is we don't want the sugar to burn. It's just a nice crust. It, it, it gives a little bit of an extra oomph to these. I'm going to throw a little bit of oil down just to prevent any sugar from burning. No, these aren't done yet. I do want to get an internal temp though while we're out here. We're looking for about 145, definitely not done. This one's going to get done first because that's the hotter area. Carrot's getting a nice brownish color. You can smell the sugar. Just checking again. I don't need them to be soft as hell, but I do want them to be you know, giving a little bit. That's all personal preference, whatever you'd like to do. I'm going to rotate these a little bit and turn it down because they do look like they're burning a little bit. But it's a good char. I like it. Once again, trying to cook on all sides, give it a nice sear. We're getting there. A few more minutes. I just keep trying to stir these around so I get even cooking on all sides. Oh, they smell so good. Look at that color on these now. Definitely giving a lot more now. These are almost done. All right, one more time. Oh, those look good. These are ready to come off. See how talented I am. Nice dark color on these. Here we go. Veteran move. Scoop it on the other spatula and miss half of them. Shit. These have got to be done by now. Oh, yeah. And these are coming off. Voila. So I'm just going to give these a few minutes to rest. I'm going to clean up out here and we'll come back and do a taste test. So I just want to get a good camera angle as I cut into this. I think I'm going to cut into this one. So I want to show you, look at the juices running off that. Now back in the day, internal temps for pork chops were 165 and that's why a lot of them were leathery and disgusting. But I mean, there's, oh my God, there's juice in that. Looks great. That, that looks amazing. I cannot wait to try this. Let's let's dig in. All right, I know I'm excited for the pork. I'm going to do the carrots first. I'm going to get the thickest piece just so I can test the tenderness. I think it was this one. That's why I like them. I don't like mush cooked carrots. I like some tenderness in the middle, a little bit of a crunch. Very good. Very nice. And the, the flavors from the brown sugar and the butter, absolutely amazing. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to eat with my hands here because I want this one. I just want to show you, look at the, the moisture on that. And that's not from the juices leaking out, but the fact that it's not shoe leather, amazing. Mm. Mom, I love you, but I'm coming over and I'm making this for you. I could have probably cooked this a little less. It's still great, um, but like I said, it, it's it's delicious. You know, you can have a little bit of pink in the middle, not too, too much. I'm, I'm hungry. I need to go eat. That rub, to be honest, it's the first time I've ever grilled with that rub. I could put that on anything. It's one of the best rubs I've ever had. Don't spend your money on expensive rubs. Just go out and make your own. It's very easy. And like I said, I'll put a link for that rub in the description if you're interested. So you can make it at home for yourself. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning into Fatty's Feast. I said it before, I'll say it again. If you like what you saw, please leave a like, leave a comment. I want to talk to you guys. I love you guys. I love everything that uh, you've done for this channel. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. Seems like it's been forever, but we're getting there. And I think the channel is better than ever. So once again, thank you. Please, until next time, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, stay tubby.